I'm Paula Frolic for The Daily Beast, and now that Tom and Katie's divorce has been finalized, semi, because you know there are some details they're going to iron out, we're going to go check out her life in New York. So we're standing in front of Katie's new home at the Chelsea Mercantile Building, and a lot of New Yorkers are frankly asking, what the hell is she doing here? I mean, it's a nice building. There are other celebrities in the building. That's cool. But I've seen the photos of the apartment. It's not that hot. It's $12,500 a month for a three bedroom, which some of you out there are like, that's pretty steep. But for New York, frankly, it's not that bad. However, for a grown up lady and her daughter, it's a ton of traffic. Hello. A ton of noise, a ton of paparazzi. Granted, she's going to get that. On the, on the good side, there's a Whole Foods. I frankly prefer Trader Joe's. And around the corner, there's a lovely yoga place. That's about it. That's all I can say for this neighborhood. So we're at Katie's favorite ice cream shop, which frankly is a little far, not gonna lie. It took us like 30 minutes to get here. And God bless, that's great. I mean, is she gonna stick to ice cream or is she gonna do what the rest of us would do with a nice big fat settlement and go to Bergdorf? Okay, so I gotta admit, the ice cream's not that bad. But Katie, here's a tip. New York in the summers are El Disgustor. Get a house in the Hamptons, start spending some of that settlement and live it up a little. Go to Bergdorf's, go to Barney's, go to Bendel's, the three B's. I would do that. Cool.